Hello everyone, my name is Vaibhav Suryamishi. I am currently working as an assistant professor in the department of AI and DS, AI SMS, IOIT Pune. So today's topic is OSI model. OSI model. OSI means Open Systems Interconnection. It, de it describes seven layers that computer systems used to communicate over network. And it was introduced in 1983 and adopted in 1984. OSI layers. There are seven OSI layers. Each layer has different functions. The first is physical layer, then data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and application layer. Now we will see functions of each layer. The first one is physical layer. Physical layer is responsible for the physical cable or wireless connection between network nodes. It defines the connector, the electrical cable or wireless technology connecting the devices and is responsible for transmission of the raw data which is simply a series of zeros and ones. The next is data link layer. It establishes and terminates a connection between physical connected nodes on a network. It breaks up packets into frames and sends them from source to destination. This layer is composed of two parts that is logical link control and MAC that is media access control. Then the next is network layer. The network layer has Two main functions one is breaking up segments into network packets and resembling the packets on the receiving end the other is routing packets by discovering the best path across a physical network the network layer uses network address to route packets to a destination node then the fourth one is transport layer the transport layer takes data transferred in the session layer and breaks it into segments on the transmitting end. It is responsible for reassembling the segments on the receiving end, turning it back into data and can be used by the session layer. And the next is session layer. The session layer creates communication channels called sessions between devices. It is responsible for opening sessions ensuring they remain open and functional while data is being transferred and closing them when communication ends. Next is presentation layer. The presentation layer prepares data for the application layer. It defines how to how two devices should encode, encrypt and compress data so it is received correctly on the other end. The presentation layer takes any transmitted by the application layer and prepares it for the transmission over the session layer and the last one is application layer the application layer is used by end user software such as web browser and email clients it provides protocol that allows software to send and receive information and present meaningful data to user a few examples of Application layer protocols are Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, Hyper File Transfer Protocol that is FTP, POP, SMTP, DNS and etc.